Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be trying to scrape Finviz top gainers. I want to scrape this table here. The problem is that we have 10 pages worth of top gainers. So I'll show you guys how to go about doing so. So we'll start off by creating some helper functions. Since we're bringing in this table into R, I want to format some of these columns. To start off with a percentage change, I'm going to drop the percentage sign, divide by 100, around that to four decimal places to return this as a numeric. The volume, so that it becomes numeric, I have to drop in the commas. And the market cap, I want to drop whether it's millions, billions, or just thousands. So I'll show you guys how to do that. For our first helper function, I want to format the percentages. I'm going to drop the percentage sign, replace it with an empty space, and then I'm going to round that to four decimal places. Let's format the volume. We're going to drop the commas, replace those with empty spaces. And then finally for our market caps, I'm going to substitute its thousands, it'll become e to the three. If it's millions, it becomes e to the six. And if it's billions, it becomes E to the ninth. And then we turn that as an numeric. All right. So the first thing we need to do to scrape this table is to call it a URL. So the URL, I'll paste it down in the description. We'll copy this link. So we use rvest to read HTML URL. Now to get the number of pages, we need to pass in data, HTML nodes, and we want to look for screener pages. And then we want to get the length. So here it's saying that we have nine pages, not counting the main page. So if we don't count the main page, it's nine pages. If you click on the following page, you see that our URL changes. So I'll go ahead and copy this link, minimize this. So our last page is 20 multiplied by pages plus one. How I get this number is that if you scroll through these pages, you will notice a change in the link. So for number two, we see that R equals 21. Page number three is R equals 41. Page four equals 61. So if you're getting the pattern, it's basically 20 multiplied by the page number plus one. So that's why I have this here. So if we run this line, our last page should be equal to 181. So we take a look at the last page, R equals 181. Since each page has its own unique URL, I'm going to make a list of URLs. So I'll do that will apply as list, sequence of one through last, separated by 20. 
function will be paste zero pasting that link that has the R we'll pass an X so we'll run this line take a look at our count pages so now we get unique URLs for each page so these are the URLs we'll be scraping So now we'll create a function that will generate a table for each call of each unique URL. So the function that has in the URL. I'll put a system sleep to avoid getting blocked from Finviz's servers. And we'll set that equal to a 10 second sleep. So data is read html will pass in the url so here we'll test it out it's count pages so we'll try it for the first url now we'll use pipes to find the table so we'll take a look at our 17th iteration. So now this returns the table. So we'll go ahead and copy this. function then I'll use PBL apply and then our list is going to be the account pages and then our function will be X we'll wrap this in a try function not inherit any errors we'll go ahead and return temp we'll go ahead and require pb apply we'll paste it up here So like I said, each call is going to be 10 seconds apart because of the system sleep. And I added that just because if I didn't, it'll run through these pages fairly quickly. And then FinViz will block my IP address and then the rest of the pages won't get called in. All right, so when that is done running, I'll go ahead and run these lines. And this is just to eliminate empty list. Next, I want to convert this list to a data frame. So I use as data frame or by list. Fin is one. Use names. Let's get that equal to true. So it's going to use the column names to match what column goes where. And then strings as factors equals false. All right, so not too bad. Almost two minutes to scrape 10 different pages of the top gainers. 
So we run these two lines. We take a look at our data. So it looks pretty good, but we're going to use our helper functions to convert some of the, these columns into numeric, such as market cap, the percentage change, and the volume. And also this column is of no use, so we'll go ahead and drop this. And depending on how often you want to call this script, we're going to add a column with a system date to reference when this data was actually pulled. All right, so we'll add a date column. And I'm going to rep our system date by the number of rows in that data frame. So now we have a date column of when this data was actually pulled. All right, so now we're going to use our helper functions to format the market cap by calling the format K and B. And we're going to pass in the, our data frame market cap. So now it becomes numeric. Next, I'm going to format P E to return as numeric. return NAs because not every single stock has a PE. So it's just going to convert numeric for those that actually do have PE ratios in there. I'm going to format the price by returning numeric. And this change we'll use 2pct which is our helper function our volume we'll use our helper function called format vol and then I'm going to drop the first column and we only want columns two through the rest of the columns in our data frame. So we'll run these lines, take a look at our data frame. So we dropped the first column, kept everything else. I'm going to change this column so that it reflects actual percentage terms. changing this to divide by 100 we're going to go ahead and run all of these lines again take a look at our data frame and now it's the way I want it all right and then lastly I'm just going to write this table Separate by the space, or we can use commas. And then this will get saved in our working directory. Go ahead and open that spreadsheet up. I'm going to remove this. And now we get a nice looking table. With all the data from Finviz. So it looks like it returned 200 different gainers today. And now you keep track of how these perform in the following days. All right guys, so this concludes this video. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you have any questions as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.